Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to explain you how do you deploy a model in Unix box. Okay. So if you remember, I had created a video and shown you the directory structure of model deployment in Unix box. Okay. Today, I am going to take a model. I am going to train that model in training file. I am going to predict in prediction file and I am going to show you how the entire process how the entire pipeline will run okay so just ensure you watch this video till end guys this is a very very important video believe me and you will learn a lot of things okay so first of all let me show you what i have put inside these directories what i have put in data input guys i have put one file called fake or real news okay this is a csv file if i open this file you will see that i will show you in command line itself you will see that this is a classification problem where there will be a news and we have to predict whether that news is a fake news or real news okay so let me come to my code here guys what i'm doing is i'm importing some packages you are aware of all these things no need to explain okay and i'm capturing the date of execution of of the code okay why i'm capturing that i will show you later i'm importing one more package joblib okay this is the training file guys okay in this training file, I am reading the data and I am saying base directory. This is what I will pass as an argument to Python. Base directory is my first argument that I will pass to the script while calling the script. Okay. And I am saying input path is equal to base directory plus data input. So I will give my base directory as this directory model deployment. Okay. And at the moment I say data input, it will go to this data input folder and it will pull this file fake or real news.csv if you come here i am creating an input path and i am creating an output path base directory plus training output okay and then i am reading my input saying pd.read underscore csv input path which i created here and fake or real news.csv that is my input csv file up to here i have read the data but remember i have done that dynamically i have not hard coded the path here in read underscore csv what is the reason for that guys the reason for that is tomorrow i want to put my file my csv file in some other location i can just come and change at one place okay then what i am doing i am separating train and test data how i am separating i am just counting number of rows in whole data and i am just putting 80 percent in train and 20 percent in test no big deal here and i am writing test in the data input so if you come here i have run this one time so test data is already present here for simplicity you can understand this is the training file this is the test file okay both are inside data input the script which i am showing you is inside the scripts folder okay so you can see here this file should not be here i should delete this actually move to trash no need of that file model training.py and prediction.py two files here okay I am showing you model training.py here. So what model training.py does? This is the training file. Okay. So it is reading the training data, fake or news, fake or real news. And it is in the same file. I'm just generating the test. You can ignore this. And what I am doing, I'm breaking in test and train. I am initializing a TFIDF vector, guys, because this is a classification problem of text, right? So I'm initializing a TFIDF. I am creating, I'm doing a fit transform on X train. I'm creating a random forest model here and I'm training the model on random forest model. But in production environment, you do not do training and prediction in same script. OK, I need to use the same model and same TFIDF for prediction purpose later. What I will do, I will write this random forest model and TFIDF where I will write. I will write to this file, guys, I will write to training output file okay i will write to this folder both the things as i told i have done one run so it is showing but again if i rerun it will come back if i delete this and rerun these two files will come back let me delete this let me delete this as well because i will rerun now move to trash move to trash okay and then when i come here to my script right you will see that i am writing that tfidf vector and i am writing that model where i am writing I'm writing to output path. What is my output path? My output path is nothing but base directory plus training output. Okay. And that is the folder I was showing you. Training output, what will go? It will go TFIDF vector and it will go the uh, 
the model right so these things will go so now if i come here and run my training script once you will see that tfidf vector and model will be written so i'm inside model deployment which is my base directory i can be anywhere but let me be here and let me run the training so if you see here this is prediction i will not run prediction so i'm saying python 3 scripts model training.py as i told you this file is inside scripts folder and then i am giving the path home hadoop model deployment what is this path guys this path is nothing but this sys.argb1 okay when that path is coming in base directory then only my file read will happen okay so let me try running this here and you will see that when i run this data is reading separating in test and train and then this is my label fake news and real news and then data is pre-processing model is training okay and you will see that model and tfidf both are written to the disk and i will physically go and show you how it is written to the disk where i'm trying to write see model is trained and written to the disk now if you go here you will see that these things are written in training output which i had deleted some time back right now model training process is completed okay so what i have here model and tfidf vector now i will go to my prediction script okay in my prediction script i am importing some packages and i will once again pass the base directory and i will once again pass my input file path input file means prediction file in this case okay and then i am importing that tfidf vectorizer if you see here joblib.load load from where base directory training output tfid vectorizer that number 25 8 2021 okay that number and i am loading that model as well base directory training output model 25 8 both the things i loaded and now what i will do i will predict why pred is equal to model dot predict tfidf test where from tfidf test comes from this vectorizer which i have loaded from the disk okay and then accuracy score whatever normal things you can see confusion matrix is here and then i am writing the output to uh, prediction output i am writing the output to prediction output if i go here it will be already there one file but i will delete that manually now if you see here i will just move it to trash and then if you come here and run the prediction right then you will see that in prediction also same way uh, data is reading pre-processing in progress model is loading prediction in progress when i say model is loading model and tfidf both we are loading okay prediction in progress accuracy is 89 and then i am getting this confusion matrix and prediction output written to disk so where to write in prediction output folder okay so what you have seen till now guys in scripts folder i am putting both my scripts in data input folder i am putting both my data training and uh, a prediction both in prediction output i am writing my prediction output in training output i am writing my model and tfidf correct so this is how you write the meaningful things in various folders till now i have not shown you what is there what should be there in logs what is the usability of landing base and how we can call this entire python script of prediction or model training through a wrapper now what is the reason guys uh, i am putting or what is the usability of putting training and test separate is you do not want to run model training very frequently but model prediction you may need to run very frequently maybe twice a day or thrice a day as well so once we have the trained model which in this case is here i can take this model and i can run prediction as many times as i want that is the usability of appending date here in the beginning i told you why i am appending date in the model i am capturing the date here right if you see here i am capturing the date of execution so if i train model today then this model will be there in the disk and next time the next tomorrow if i run the new model will not re rewrite the existing model okay so we will have different model for different days this can be broken down to minutes seconds anything okay but just for simplicity you understand we we just append a date in the end so that we have all the models that we have trained till now and then in the prediction we can use these models okay so this is the entire process of how do you deploy a model in unix box guys what is left in this is i will show you how you can call this entire thing from a simple cell script okay i have already shown you how parameterization is done which i am using extensively here if you see 
and that is very very important thing to make your code dynamic and this is how you know you can extend it further so i will upload these two files in my drive take these files do the experiments and come with me with questions guys that is what i expect i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care